Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these colorful spring flower earrings only with seed beads and with this beautiful fringe here. If you think it's too difficult to make the fringe, you could stop up to here and skip the fringe, but have in mind that I have a special tutorial where I explain this twisted fringe in details and you will see it here at the eye icon and down there in description if you want. Here uh, I just show the beginning of the fringe but uh, you will be able to continue if not uh, from this tutorial from the other tutorial that I have. Okay so I'm showing step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. You could also ask me anything in the comments, I'll try to answer to all of your questions. You help me a lot by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram and you could also check my second channel with the fast clips also link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I use earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters and I use it for the main part of my earring and this is Naimo nylon thread which is 0 0.2 millimeters which is size D and I use it for the fringe so if you're not intent to making the fringe you don't need this thread only the main thread and uh, by the way you could use fire line instead of monofilament and here I'm using size 10 beading needle or you could use size 11 or 12 if you want and uh, these are scissors and now guys I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up are 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay and now I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and here what I want to do is make a knot. Okay, and I'm making my knot by making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. And then what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And when you pull, make sure you are between those two beads where you started the knot from. Okay, now I will go through some beads in this direction. Now in my next step what I'm going to take is a yellow, a light orange bead and a yellow. Okay, here is what I have and I'm going back in circle through this black bead here. Okay, then I go through the next and through the one after that. So through two beads and I'm taking a yellow, a light orange and a yellow. Okay, go back and if you can in one movement go through this one that you're exiting out of and through the following two. Just uh, in this way you save time and you position your thread where it should be for the next step. Again the same sequence. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I want to go through this yellow bead in this direction and now I want to flip my work it's not obligatory but I prefer to flip it because I want to go in this direction 
and what I want to take is a light orange, a black and a light orange, okay, this is what I have and I'm going in the next light orange again, a light orange, a black and a light orange go in the next light orange and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, and here I am where I added my last sequence of three beads. And now I'm going through the first of these three light orange that are between the blacks. And here I'm going to take three dark orange beads, just like this. And I'm skipping the central bead here and I'm going through the following. Okay, this is what I have. Then I want to go through the black and through the following light orange. And I take again three dark orange beads. Skip the central one and if you can go through the light orange, black, light orange. Okay, then again. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have all of my beads in this row. And here I will continue the following way. I'm taking black, red and black and as I'm exiting through this light orange here I'm going back through the light orange, black, light orange just like this okay, now this is what I have here then I'm going through the next two dark orange beads and I'm exiting through the one that's sticking out the most and now I take black, red, black, two yellows, and again black, red, black. Okay, this is what I have. And I go back here through this one in circle. Through the one at the top. Okay, then I will repeat those two steps until the end of this row. So I'm exiting here through these three beads, light orange, black, light orange, and I'm taking a black, a red and a black. And I go back here through these three beads. And I also went through the next orange, but it's okay because it's where I should continue and then here and I will take the following sequence black, red, black, two yellows, black, red, black okay here is what I have and I'm going back just like this now I will go in this direction and I want to exit here after this light orange bead or one bead after the inner angle if you're using different colors and here I use a black, a red and a black go back like this then through those two dark orange beads and the long sequence
Okay, this is the long sequence and I go back here. Okay guys, and off camera, I will continue this three more times. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see it from here and repeat. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last sequence. Here from this row. And what I want to do next is go in this direction through those beads. Okay, like this. And I want to exit here between those two yellow beads. Now, what I do is to flip my work. You know it's easier for me to go in this direction. If it's easier for you, just repeat the same thing in the other direction. Okay, now I take one orange bead and I'm going through the yellow, black, red. Then I want to take just one red bead and go through this one. So I'm just connecting those beads, those red beads with other red beads. Then I go through the black and through the yellow as well. And here I add one dark orange. Exit out of this red, the first red that's on my way. And now I will add two reds filling the gaps. Then through the yellow and add an orange, yellow, black, red, fill the gaps, and again here. Okay, and I'm sure if you're up to here, you will be able to do this by yourself till the end. If not, rewind the video, see this part and repeat it. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last red bead from this row. And what I want to do next is add an additional red row. And how I'm doing this. First, I want to reach those red beads here. And I want to go through all of them. Then I'm going to pick up five red beads. Okay, five. And I'm going back here in circle through those five beads. Then again, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction, going in this direction through all of the five beads. Then take five red beads and go back in circle through all of those beads. Okay, and I will continue doing this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind and repeat those two steps up to here and I'll meet you. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do is after that exit through the orange bead. Now I'm going to pick up four black beads, four of them, and as I'm exiting through the orange, I'm going through the central of these five beads that I added. How I find the central here, I should have two beads and two beads, and this is the central one. 
Okay, then again I'm picking up four black beads and I'm going here through the orange. Then again four and going in the center as I showed you before. Four again and go here through this orange. Okay, and continue this and meet me here. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last four beads. And what I want to do next is go in this direction until I reach this orange bead. And I will also go through the following black after that. And now I'm going to take my earring finding and I'm taking a yellow earring finding and a yellow. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back here through those beads in circle, just like this. And now I'm going to reinforce this joint. Okay, and after that I'm going to find the place and make a knot. And let's say I'll make this knot here, make a loop, go once, go second time through this loop I've made, pull, then go through the following two beads and then cut my thread. Okay, now my earring is ready. But if you want, you could make the fringe part with me as well. For the fringe part, I'm using this nylon thread, which is brand Nymo. And I will take four feet of this thread, which is about 1.2 meters, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and now I have my 1.2 meters of thread or four feet of thread on my needle. And what I did is that I fold it in two. Okay, just like this. This is the end of my thread. And here, what I want to do is make a knot to make it stay in this way. I want both ends to be the same length. So, I will make this knot. Probably I'll cut it later. But now I want this knot to make sure it stays like this. Always when you make fringe, you fold into the thread. I will make the fringe at the opposite part. So here and how I'm making it. First I will go through some beads here to attach this new thread which is the fringe thread. You see how it moves. And now I will make here a loop. Okay. I make a loop of this double thread. Okay, I make it smaller, a little bit smaller. And now I will go twice through this loop that I've made. It's a little bit tricky here. Okay, but I'll do this anyway. And now I pull And when I pull tight, I have my knot here. Okay, then I will go here through the first black bead. And I will show you only the first fringe that I'm doing because I have a special tutorial with the fringe that I mentioned before. And you will see it at the eye icon here and also down there in description. So now what I want to do is cut this tail thread. I don't need it anymore. Now 
what I need is to pick up 12 yellow beads. Okay, I have here my 12 yellow beads and I'm going to slide those down. Then I'm going to take just one black bead and I will take 12 orange beads. Okay, I have 12 orange beads and I will slide those down. Then I'm going to take just one black bead. Now I will repeat it but the other way around. I'm taking first 12 yellows. Okay. Then a black one. And then 12 orange. Sliding those down. And now I will show you how I'm making my fringe. Now I will start twisting and I will hold my thread here closer to the beads. Okay, I twist and I will twist some more and I'm uh, removing the twist from this side where my needle is by holding here the thread. Then I will continue twisting. Twist as much as you can, as many times as you have the nerves to do it. Then remove the twist from here. Then again twist, twist, twist here. Remove the twist from the side of the needle. Then again twist, twist, twist. And now I will hold like this. And I will go here in my next black bead. And now I will help my twist to form. Okay, so this is what I'm doing and I will repeat this four more times or I have five twists and if you want a special tutorial on twists check here the eye icon and description. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys and here I am where I'm doing my last fifth fringe from this row. You could do more fringes, of course, if you want. Okay, I'll help this fringe like this. And now what I want to do is find a place and make a knot, which is a little bit difficult to meet with my double thread. And I showed you this already, so I'm not showing you now on camera. Uh, and after I make my knot, I will cut my thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now my colorful flower spring earrings with fringes are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in the description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me only with this action. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips, link also in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.